So, you know, I'm on a typical business trip. I'm running between gates at Dulles Airport trying to make a connection. I got my wheelie behind me. I got my cell phone to my ear, my backpack on my shoulder. Anyway, I'm talking to my president and CEO, Kent Murdoch. We're talking about this, that, and the other thing. I finally shut off the phone looking for the gate where I'm supposed to go when my phone immediately rings again. This time it's my wife. You know, that's the phone call you take no matter who you're talking to or where you are. She says, hey, Chess, you're not going to believe what just happened. A guy delivered 24 beautiful orange roses to our door. At first, I thought they were from you. <laughs> of course, I knew they weren't and became very curious as to who they were from. <laughs> she said they're from your boss, Ken Murdoch, your CEO. 24 beautiful orange roses. Isn't that sweet? And the little card said, Heidi, a little something for you for all the little things you do at home so Chester can do big things for us on the road. How great is that? How do you think that made my wife feel about the work I do? How do you think it made me feel about my boss and what he does for me and my family? But here's the kicker. As we're wrapping up the conversation, she says, where are you? I said, well, honey, I'm running to catch a gate, you know, so I can make my connection. She said, well, don't you dare miss that flight. Those are good people you're working for. <laughs> See, a little bit of appreciation. It just flat out works. In business, it always comes down to the bottom line, doesn't it? And what I'm here to tell you, and I hope you walk away with, is that recognizing and appreciating your employees just isn't something nice to do. It's now an essential part of keeping and engaging your best people. It will get you from good to great faster if you understand the principles of recognition. It's not allegorical anymore. The numbers are irrefutable. Managers that give recognition, that build better teams, get to their business goals faster. It is an accelerant to your business goals. Chester Elton is the author of several New York Times best-selling books that have been translated into 20 languages and are sold in more than 50 countries worldwide. In his acclaimed keynote presentations and workshops, Chester unveils the findings of one of the largest research studies ever undertaken, including groundbreaking interviews with over 200,000 employees and managers. He has appeared on numerous television and radio programs, including National Public Radio, CNN, and 60 Minutes. He's often quoted in leading business publications around the world. And no matter where Chester appears, his audiences want more.